Welcome back, Internet. This is Big Al over here at Paler. Let's, uh, let's finally lay this little circle in here on this isometric. So far you've had a chance to look and see how we can make a three-dimensional perspective on a two-dimensional workspace. The technique we used was called isometric. There's other uh, techniques also. All you did was went over the pattern here uh, according to these uh, dimensions and you used, of course, red for your ink to plot where you were going. Now we're going to put this circle in here. Now this is, um, we need to look at an ellipse here. So let's pick up ellipse. Okay, pick up ellipse. Now go down to your, this is very important, go down to your command line. It's telling you that you can select A for arc, C for center, the ellipse, or I for an isocircle. I want you to click I for isocircle, enter. Because you've done that, you can go right here to the center of this circle. Okay, now notice, see, because we're in, in uh, isometric, you need to go to the F5 key. The F5 key, click it once, twice, three times. See, it changes, it goes to the three planes. Okay, so that's our plane right there. Let's close right back in there. That looks good. Now press D for diameter and put point. 875 enter and there it is okay so what you have now is a completed drawing remember when you went in isometric to put a circle down in isometric it's not a circle because it's tipped at an angle that circle if you were looking straight down from the top would be round but here it's an ellipse it's oblong there's two axes to it two different axes to it okay so the only thing left to do is to put some dimensions on it, and we can do that in the next lesson, okay? All right, so now you know. Anyways, this is Big Al, and the Snapple word of the day is that the average speed of a housefly is four and a half miles per